to my channel. My name is Zori and today I've decided to recreate this look which is my take on the bombshell look which was originally created from Andrea Lee who is a, an amazing makeup artist based in Paris and I really really admire her work and I really wanted to recreate the bombshell look so if you think that's something you might enjoy just keep watching shall we start I'm starting with my eyebrows because we're gonna do soap brows I'm just gonna wet the soap with some setting spray right, right in the middle and then I'm going to rub my spoolie in there I've only done this once before but since we're following Andrea Ali's bombshell look. She suggests we have fluffy big brows because usually models at runways and photo shoots have nice big voluminous brows. I mean look at the difference. It's not that big. My brows are pretty stuck to my head. I'm using the Brow Master um, Sculpting Pencil in Cocoa by Bare Minerals and I'm literally just going to fill in the gaps. Okay, that's actually pretty difficult because the eyebrows are so stiff I can barely get the pencil in between the gaps. Kind of annoying. Um, should have done it after I filled them in, but it's okay. I think I might have put too much soap. If that's a thing, you know what? I'm gonna come back to the brows later. Right. So the next step would be. I'll buy the primer. This is the Paul and Joe, I think it's Illuminating Foundation Primer. So I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand, like this much. And I've already done my skincare, so I'm going to just apply the high points of the face. Studio Finish Concealer. Oh, it has SPF. I didn't know it has SPF. That's cool. And I'm going to take it with my finger. So actually, before we start with foundation, I'm going to apply the contour first. I'm going to cream contour because we're doing a natural bombshell look. I'm taking the Chanel Soleil Tan du Chanel cream bronzer. This, since I bought it, I bought it on Black Friday because it's crazy expensive for a bronzer. Um, but I wanted it for a long time. I've used it every single day ever since I did. I have my brushes. Clean, professional, wash them before I started. Here. It's very creamy. Can you see? Then I'm gonna do. Blend that in. 
apply a little bit more of the cheekbones just to enhance them a little bit more because we want to look very very sculpted and I'm going to use the Ordinary Colors Serum Foundation I'm getting this much as you can see it's very runny and I'm gonna go with a beauty sponge this is the Real Techniques one and I'm gonna grab a little bit and start blending around the contour first You know how I said I'm a professional today? I literally just forgot to plug in the microphone, so um, whatever the next step was, you cannot hear what I'm saying. So, what I did was, <laughs> I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in a slightly lighter shade to brighten up. Blended that in. And then I set it with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I really like it. It's very, very finely milled and it's talc-free, which is good for the skin. Um, so that's all I did. I just set underneath my eyes after I blended everything and around my smile lines because um, they crease quite bad. And I left the glow on the skin. Well, the next step is because I don't have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, I think it was called. It's a gorgeous setting powder that is not matte, it's luminous. I have a highlighter from Kiko, it is very, very, su very subtle. It literally just gives you a um, very light sheen. Yeah, can you see that very nice sheen? such a beautiful highlight. I think it was one of their limited editions one, uh, ones or they might still have it so it's called 01 Glow Fusion Powder Highlighter. Really good. And as you can see it is well loved by me. Now I will apply a little bit of blusher. And I'm going to use my Infinity palette by Linda Holberg, this, this is my favourite, favourite makeup product that I own, as you can probably see. So all the colours, um, those are the two highlight colours, obviously that one's my favourite, and now they have it in a Sing singular highlight packaging which I'm gonna get because mine's finished and I'm really really sad. If you want one thing to use all over your face, this one. Right so I'm gonna use the shade Andromeda and Pinwheel mixed together as my blusher. Now that the skin is all nice, glowy, natural looking, radiant, um, it's time to start with the eyes. I'm gonna use a eyeshadow base that's called Focus and Fix Eye Primer by Revolution. It doesn't have too much of a pigmentation it's quite a potion-y primer, but I quite like it because it does make my makeup stay all day. I'll start with my James Charles Big Morphe palette. I'm going to stick to this corner of the eyeshadow for this look. And later on, I might dabble into another palette. But I'm starting with um, this shade right here. Blending Fluffy Brush. This is from Primark, actually. The 230 brush. Uh, it's natural bristles, it's really nice. Look at that, look how much excess there is. And try and look straight. Don't lift your eye or pull, pull it or anything like that. And whatever's left on the brush I'm gonna put on the inner corner. 
and then blend those two. And as you can see, I'm holding the brush right at the end, so I'm not applying as much pressure. I'm actually going to get a clean fluffy brush. Now that it's looking like this on both sides, I'm going to apply the middle colour. I'm going to use this Molten Drama palette by Bobbi Brown. Very nice, gorgeous colours. I'm going to use this shade in the center. Clean flat brush. Oh, that color is gorgeous. While I was gone, I put the burgundy shade underneath my eyes as well. I'm going to use a little bit of this gold shade. I'm going to use it at the center of the eye a little bit so we can attract more light to that area. I think I'm going to use this big one right here at the inner corner of the eye. Sienna color and pencil and kind of create a wing without looking down or up just straight ahead so I can follow my natural shape I decided to just quickly finish it and buff the pencil in with a small pencil brush like this. I'm going to go over it with a little bit of eyeshadow, like a dark foamy colour, just so it's not patchy looking. Use a little bit underneath as well. Flesh coloured eye pencil for the waterline underneath. Now I'm going to reapply a little bit of blush and powder bronzer and the lips and we're done with the face. I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm going to go back with a little bit of blush. Actually, I forgot to apply Brow Bone Highlight. I'm going to use the same shade I used in the inner corner. I'm just now we're going to apply the lips. I'm going to grab a lip liner. And diffuse the lip liner. And then I'm going to use my favorite lipstick from Kiko Milano. This is what it looks like, the bullet. And it's a very nice, glossy, nude color. Andrea Lee said um, there's no bombshell look without glossy lips. And this is the final face makeup. However, as you can see, my chest is very pale and white and not glowy. I'm going to put some makeup on my chest as well. 
So I'm going to mix the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Highlighter Drops with Face and Body Foundation, big foundation brush. Mix that on my hand and just go to town. <laughs> After the quarantine, if you're going out, this look will just be amazing. I'm going to apply the rest on my face. I'm going to go do my hair and I will come back to reveal the final bombshell look for your at home date night. So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed creating this and from now on every single time I go out or do a makeup like this I'm definitely going to put makeup on my chest as well but yes I really hope you enjoyed it and also I wanted to say thank you so much for the response on my first video that I uploaded. I honestly didn't expect so many people to watch it because like no one knows me so um, I want to say thank you for everyone who watched, um, everyone who liked, for the people that voted, commented, it really really made me happy. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch my previous video I'll be making some more videos during the quarantine. Um, if you have any ideas on what you would want me to do for my next video please comment it down below. And oh, also, you can follow me on Insta Instagram if you want. I do post all the looks there and just some random bits. So if you want to see those, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.